Hi, yeah, welcome to another video here by Red Pill Tokyo. Giving you, giving you the straight goods. Giving you the straight goods from the, uh, here. From the tiniest cafe, the smallest cafe in uh, Shibuya, Tokyo. And yeah, today, today's video is about uh, Vitality. Okay, this is a men's group video. And I've been a, a fan of many of the uh, Manosphere channels over the years, and uh, of course I have my own. Uh, it's funny, like I, I came, uh, I came to a lot of the uh, opinions uh, or the things that are talked about in the Manosphere uh, uh, by myself about uh, about particular about uh, about 20, 20 years ago, and then uh, between. Uh, so between, I'm guessing now, between about 2002 and about uh, 2010, I, I found a lot of the, the stuff that was discussed in the Manosphere, and I already kind of discovered it myself uh, slowly over the years. And um, I had, uh, it, it almost worked as a reinforcement mechanism. But they, yeah, here's a, this is a, a video about uh, your vitality uh, as a, it's a person uh, and as a man, which is, uh, in my eyes, is like uh, like your hormone level and stuff like that. So this is going to be about your testosterone, and uh, of course, I'm 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 no angel at all. Like I've had over the years, uh, I've uh, stumbled. I started uh, my first uh, steps into like pornography was in the in the 1980s, and I used to work at a video store uh, in Vancouver. It was called 24 Hour Video. I used to work the night shift, and uh, a lot of people would come in to rent uh, like adult videos uh, at that time, and that was my first little foray into uh, uh, to uh, pornography. But then over the years, uh, like uh, porn had gone from where it was you needed to go to the video store. Uh, to access it, or uh, I used to live in the west end of Vancouver, and there used to be like uh, uh, peep kind of dirty shops and stuff like that, where you could get um, what I considered like sort of pulp, pulp uh, uh, pornography uh, uh, over the years, and then slowly, I guess, it moved its way into the internet, and then uh, when uh, just like anything else, when it moved into the internet, and then it had uh, the ability to go from this centralized place to like all the houses in the world, it became a real problem. And I think that uh, there's a whole movement uh, called uh, NoFap on the uh, uh, on the in the manosphere, and uh, I'm a really believer in. Uh, in uh, nofap and if you didn't know what nofap is it's like uh, no jerking off no masturbation it's just not going to do any good for you and like if you can don't go to these porn sites because like the, 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 what the worst thing i think that what the porn sites do uh, uh, to to us as men okay is we see all these like beautiful like uh, women on these uh, sort of porn sites and we we see it and we fantasize and then we jerk off and uh, yeah, you're not getting, or myself too, you're, we, I'm not getting that girl. It's a fantasy in my mind, okay? And that's no good for you. It's no good for you. You know, you've got to, uh, so just stay away from that. And that obviously in some people, like you see in the manosphere, people talk about how that's going to like affect uh, your uh, dopamine or serotonin levels. And I, I'm not a scientist, but I can just feel it like inside me. And... Uh, I don't really even like masturbate. I don't go as far as other people go and you know like you see like the great fighters like Ali talked about or even Tyson talked about like uh, I'm forgetting no no not Tyson uh, one of my favorite fighters Marvin Hagler he would sustain like uh, not have any sex I think it's sustained sustained from sex uh, during his training period and stuff like that so uh, yeah I just will not uh, masturbate like and I like to keep uh, uh, the testosterone in my body and uh, so if you can keep, uh, you can get it off at the, you, I mean, there's the, like, when I was a kid, when I was, I guess, between the ages of uh, 15 and 19, like, I would have the wet dreams or the uh, what, what uh, nocturnal uh, ejaculations. And I think that's what it is, is your, your body is like, uh, 
it naturally balancing that sort of amount of testosterone and that amount of, amount of sperm and that in your testes and stuff like that. So uh, my advice to men is just from my personal experience, okay, yeah, stay off your porn. That's not going to do any good for you, man. You're not going to be able to focus on other uh, on the things that you do, okay? And you're going to feel... Uh, this uh, super vitality inside you. Now, I'm not really sure, like some people in uh, various videos always talk about that the women can sense it or something like that, but I'm not sure, like, uh, because like, my wife will uh, totally uh, prop, like, I used to have to lead in the sexual thing, but like in the, in the years now that I have not been uh, jerking off and what have you, uh, I noticed that my wife uh, will come and just bang me like herself. So uh, I'm not sure. I'm not sure if there's some pheromones or something like if there's an extra smell of testosterone in the air. If that if that testosterone that's being internally held in my body is gonna some some way secrete out of its out of the pores or something like that or the pores of the body and I'm not sure if that works as almost an aphrodisiac for uh, for uh, for women and I, I don't know but yeah and you're gonna notice that uh, when you have that vitality inside you you're gonna be able to, you don't want it when you're jerking off and you're letting it go you're letting this naturally like powerful like substance leak out of your body and you can use it you and when you keep it in your body you can use it to like uh, improve your mood and improve your like ability to train and stuff like that so uh, I think you shouldn't do it and uh, I just had one other, one other note that uh, you, maybe you, you didn't know that I've studied uh, Japanese for many many years and uh, in the Japanese uh, kente which is the test many many years ago 20 years ago I have the, uh, the I, what's now N1 but it used to be called EQ I have that level in Japanese uh, language uh, uh, I wouldn't think I'm at that level now. I'm just not. Maybe I am at that level, but I'm just not like definitely at the uh, test level. But in uh, Japanese language, we you, maybe some people here watching the video are probably familiar with Japanese anyway. Uh, the how are you is how we say it in Japanese is genki desu ka? Genki like that. Okay. And if you do an actual uh, analysis of the uh, of the language. Uh, genki, Genki, Ki is the job, uh, the Chinese character for Chi or Japanese character Ki, okay? And Ki is like your your energy, your your vitality, okay? And then Gen, Gen is, uh, what it means is a really interesting shape and it's like a shape of an altar. And uh, it means Moto, okay? or Genki means like a, Motoki, you could say it like Motoki, I guess you could say it like that. So, uh, in Japanese, mood, mood translates into English as your, uh, like, how's, you could almost, Genki this guy, you could translate that directly into, uh, how's your vitality? It means how are you on a on on a uh, on a base level, obviously in the in the language how we're just greeting each other. Like sometimes we just obviously like we do in English, we ask how are you. That means like good morning. You know, like sometimes like the, the response means nothing, but it's just a, a pleasant uh, uh, way to interact with other people. So, uh, but just I I, I just fundamentally uh, think of like the gain key. You how is your fundamental. Uh, your fundamental like chi or your energy your vitality inside you right so my advice to men today in uh, uh, this video is if you can don't watch any porn knock it out you don't need it okay and that goes for me too I can be a little guilty of it still because I love looking at uh, beautiful women on uh, on uh, my Instagram feed to come up I just love looking at beautiful women myself too but I have to try to find myself stop that you don't need that you know, you're better to have into like uh, even if you're not just having interactions with normal beautiful women that I do every day when they stop by the shop here, and that is a much that's a much better high, and it's going to serve you better. You don't also so you don't want to avoid that porn, okay? And then you also want to avoid jerking off too much, even though if it's to pulp or anything else. Just save that vitality for yourself. That vitality is going to give you the advantage, okay, in this world. It's going to give you, make you, uh, it's, it's going to uh, improve your body. Like, I, I don't know, like, 
you can't tell I'm not naked right here, but yeah, I'm really good. I think I'm in like totally really good shape and stuff like that. And like, I wonder sometimes when you're not uh, jerking off and uh, you're keeping that vitality inside you, that testosterone, I'm sure it's contributing to lowering your uh, your body fat levels and making you a more uh, attractive looking uh, specimen for uh, for women. Whatever. So, And that includes like, uh, for people like who are like me in like middle age or older age like that like I'm pretty convinced that I'm still attractive to my wife and I have a very uh, I still like have sex with my wife like uh, three days a week you know uh, so you know some it's not like when I, w I had this one girlfriend when I was young and then we would have it like three times a day but I mean uh, uh, me and my wife have been together almost 20 years and she's still very beautiful too and I often think though because I keep myself in good shape that she, my wife's still very beautiful too so uh, and yeah I'm still very attracted to her uh, so yeah anyhow this is another video here from uh, Red Pill Tokyo and we are giving you the straight goods about your vitality okay and don't don't leak it out of your body okay coming to you from the smallest cafe the tiniest cafe in Shibuya, Tokyo. Arigatouzaimasu.